Hi, I'm Alex, and today I want to talk to you about the most important meditation style and the only one you should be really worrying about. Alright, you ready? The most important meditation style, and the one that's far superior to every other one out there, is the one that's best for you. You see, you're the one who's going to be doing it. And just because one style of meditation works for one person, doesn't mean that it's going to work for you or somebody else. There's so many meditation styles out there, literally hundreds, possibly thousands of them. Therefore, I feel like meditation's a bit like music. Not in the way you're thinking though. When you walk into a record store, you have different sections with different genres of music. And then each genre has its own sub-genre. And so on, and so on, and so on. I mean, most of us like music, but not all of us like the same styles. You see, I probably wouldn't recommend my mum listen to a turnstile album. However, my mate Lincoln, on the other hand, that's the exact type of music he appreciates. And some people like more than one style, and that's great too, but they usually have their one or two favourites. Well, I believe it's the same with meditation. People really need to find out what works for them. If they later explore other styles, great. They may even come up with their own meditation, combining styles together, even better. I mean, one of my favorite bands has always been the Beatles. But I'm not gonna tell you to listen to the Beatles if you don't like the Beatles. However, for me, listening to the Beatles was a great gateway for other styles of music too. But that's me and you're you. My point is that meditation is not a one-size-fits-all exercise, and I think it's really important to make this clear. If you try a certain style and it just doesn't feel right for you, then maybe you should try another one, before completely dismissing all of meditation. You might be thinking, well Alex, if there's so many styles, where should I start? At least show me the door to the record store. Okay, sure. I personally started with an app called Headspace. It gave me a pretty good idea of the basics and got me off on the right foot to keep at it. However, I also want to show you this page from the Melbourne Meditation Centre website, as I feel I would have really liked to see it when I was first starting out. The page is called One Minute Meditations, and they were made by my teacher, Matt Young, and there's a good variety of six of them that you can try. Matt states. One minute, that's all you need to take the sting out of stress. The following meditations can all be done in 60 seconds or less. Find the ones that work best for you and adapt them freely to your needs. They can make a huge difference to the way you feel. And at the bottom of the page, you'll notice a nice comment from a lady called Anne. I did it. I was there. I could be with it most of the time. I'm 88 years. Many times tried to meditate, but it was never as simple as this. Lots of little annoyances flowed away, as I could actually feel the stillness. Whoopee. Yup, this stuff really works for people of all ages. So yeah, when you find a style that feels right, you really need to stick with it. You gotta do it every day. Try and explore it. Eventually meditation will be like listening to your favorite song. You'll never get sick of it and it'll become natural and effortless. And remember, just like music, it's meant to make you feel good. I'll leave a link to the One Minute Meditations page below. If this video has given you value, please hit the like button, subscribe, maybe try a one minute meditation. I'll see you next week. I'm Alex. Later, meditator. Make no mistake. Yeah, yeah, yeah.